Hi, I'm Christine. I work for Clifton Hill. Today I'm inside the fudge factory and I'm with our candy cook, Chris. And Chris is going to show us how to make fudge. Are you ready to go? Sure am. Alright, let's go check it out. Okay, the first step when we're making fudge, we have to butter the table. Make sure the fudge sticks to it. Okay, makes sense. We'll be making chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter, my favorite. So this is the next step then, putting peanut butter all over the table. And I'm assuming the frame is here so it doesn't go on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> okay. If it wasn't here, we'd make quite the mess. Alright. Uh, Alright, the first thing that we do is add three quarters of a liter of water. And we add a liter of glucose liquid sugar. Look at that. Trying to have some muscles for that. Yeah, when it's cold it doesn't like cooperating. Once this is in, you can turn it on. You have to wait for this to heat up. Great. So how long does it take for that to heat up? Uh, this is the first one of the day, so maybe a minute, maybe a minute or two. Okay, that's not bad. Next step, we're adding a pound of chocolate because it's a chocolate based loaf of chocolate peanut butter. I'm gonna stir this in and make sure the chocolate all melts. Here we add six quarts of sugar. All right. Stir this in pretty nice. Six quarts of sugar, eh? It's almost 13 pounds. Wow. We add a pound of butter. Three and a half cans of evaporated milk. Great, and how much does this make? This is about a 20 pound batch of fudge. Okay. Because it's chocolate peanut butter, it's a little bigger because we have the peanut butter that's on the table. But this is about 20 pounds. Each batch is about 20 pounds. Uh, probably faster than you might think, to be honest. Okay. Uh, the next step, you have to wash down the sides using water. Make sure that the sugar doesn't stay on the sides and burn. Okay, that makes sense. until it reaches 235 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I'll measure that by using the heating thermometer over there. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes from start to get to that temperature. You should put the thermometer in and check to see what temperature it's at. Every last drop. What do we go for? Well, 
it smells good. You can't go wrong with melted chocolate. No. And sugar. Can't. Can't. Melted chocolate and sugar for sure. Look at that, not a drop along the sides. Is that perfectly crisp? Okay, so Chris, how long does it take for this to cool off and you start cutting? Uh, this is the first one, so it only takes a couple minutes before I actually can start to work on it, before I can remove the bars. Uh, you check the fudge, you check the corners, we drag it into the center just to see the speed that the fudge is moving. It's moving slow enough, you feel like you're ready to take off the bars and start working the fudge. So this just helps harden it some more? Or? What this does is it actually gets it to its appropriate like texture and creaminess. The process itself is called creaming the fudge. You fold it in on itself, you pull it down, expose it to air, and get it to the right texture and creaminess. Awesome. You're an expert, Chris. Look at you do this. <laughs> I do okay. All right, and then what does this do, Chris? Uh, we're putting it into the box to form it and make it harden. The box itself is obviously cooler than the table, so it will help suck heat out of the fudge once it's set. Oh my goodness, it looks good already. I was just going to say, what does that do? So that's just for show then? Just for show. Kind of helps make it look even. So when you cut the fudge, everything looks nice. Yeah. Makes sense. And then the next step here, clean your edges. When the fudge comes out of the box, looks nice and much more presentable. When you put the letter of the fudge type that it is in this, so in this case, it's chocolate peanut butter, so I put a P into it. Clean the edges up. And voila. And that's the finished product. Well, what? thanks, Chris, for this informative lesson on how to make fudge. Anytime. <laughs> okay, so come on out to the fudge factory. There are tons of different types of fudge that you can have, all made fresh and on site here at the fudge factory. So the fudge factory is located on Clifton Hill, beside the Great Canadian Midway and Boston Pizza. So come on out and check it out. For Clifton Hill, I'm Christine Lynn, www.cliftonhill.com.